A new Russian space-based air defense system terrorizes the West, just like the S-500. Let's get to know the capabilities of the terrifying S-550. Russia Today Headline What's the difference between the secret Russian S-550 space defense system and the S-500? Government tests of the secret Russian S-550 space defense system have successfully concluded, and the system has begun combat duty in the Russian Army's aerospace forces. A source close to the Russian Ministry of Defense told the Russian news agency TASS this, although the agency has no official confirmation of this information. The source said it is a new, self-propelled strategic missile defense system that is unparalleled in the world. It is capable of shooting down spacecraft, ballistic missile warheads, and hypersonic targets at a range of 600 kilometers and an altitude of 200 kilometers in space. He added, with the S-550 entering combat duty, it can be said that the aerospace forces have created a multimodal air defense and missile shield system, from the short-range Panzer system, which destroys targets flying at very low altitudes, to the S-550 system for space interception. It's worth noting that the S-550 recently set a record for the transition period from being an experimental system to being supplied to Russian military units. Russian President Vladimir Putin had confirmed its presence at a military meeting held on November 9 in Sochi, stressing the importance of supplying it to the army. The system entered service with the Russian Aerospace Forces at the end of this year. It is worth noting that the S-550 is a system designed exclusively for space, unlike the S-500 Promedy, which is designed to combat targets flying in the air and space. The Arab Defense Newspaper Headlined Russian S-550 Missile Systems Enter Service The newspaper said the first of Russia's new S-550 air defense systems has entered combat service after successful trials. The state-owned TASS news agency quoted a source close to the Russian Ministry of Defense as saying, the S-550 air defense system has successfully completed government trials. The first S-550 brigade has entered combat service. The source described the new system as a new, mobile, an unparalleled strategic missile defense system, capable of hitting spacecraft, ballistic missile re-entry vehicles, and hypersonic targets at altitudes of tens of thousands of kilometers. He added that the new system has become part of Russia's comprehensive missile and air defense system, consisting of the Panzer, low-altitude, systems, the S-350, S-400, and S-500 long-range systems, and the S-550, space-based. The S-550 is said to feature the ability to detect targets and intercept missiles at long ranges. A source close to the Russian Ministry of Defense previously told TASS that the system was not an attempt to revive a Soviet-era project, although some concepts from the old project were used in the development of the modern version. The Yum-7 newspaper headlined, Moscow, Russian S-550 air defense system passes tests and enters service. A source close to the Ministry of Defense announced the Russian Defense Ministry announced that the new Russian S-550 air defense missile system has successfully passed tests and entered combat service. The Russian news agency TASS quoted an unidentified source as saying on Wednesday, the S-550 air defense missile system has successfully completed tests, and the 1st Battalion has entered combat service. He added, this strategic defense missile system is new and has no equal. It is capable of hitting spacecraft, intercontinental ballistic missile warheads, and hypersonic targets at altitudes of up to tens of thousands of kilometers. It is worth noting that the industrial director of the arms complex of the Russian state corporation Rostec, Bikon Ozdoev, announced that the corporation is studying the possibility of manufacturing a wheeled tank based on the Sprut SDM-1 light track tank, which will be in demand in Africa and the Middle East. Ozdoev told Sputnik News Agency on Wednesday, this possibility is currently under consideration, 
and there is an idea to place the fighting compartment of the Sprut SDM-1 on a wheeled base, which will likely be mobile. He pointed out that such a tank would have the firepower of the original tanks and would outperform them in maneuverability and speed, noting that it would be inferior in terms of protection and penetration due to the characteristics of the wheeled chassis. Ozdoev added, the wheeled Sprut will initially become an export product, noting that the most likely markets for wheeled tanks could be countries in the Middle East and Africa. Wheeled tanks are typically used for narrow missions and cannot replace the main battlefield tank as the primary striking force of ground forces. They are also used in low-intensity local conflicts, peacekeeping operations, and counterterrorism operations. A Shark Bloomberg Headline Amid Russian conflict, has Moscow begun operation of the S-550 system? Russian news agencies reported conflicting reports on Wednesday regarding whether Moscow had introduced the advanced S-550 air defense system, capable of engaging targets in space. While TASS quoted a source close to the Ministry of Defense as confirming that the new S-550 system had successfully passed tests and had already entered service with the military, an informed source denied to Sputnik and RIA Novosti that any tests had been conducted on the system, stressing that its prototypes had not yet been built. A source in the Russian Ministry of Defense's press office told a shark al Assad that there is no confirmation on this matter, noting that such tests are announced through the official channels of the Ministry of Defense, not news agencies. In exclusive statements to a shark, Russian military expert Konstantin Sivkov said, the S-550 system has already been developed and is being tested. There is a possibility that it has been put into service and is being tested for any defects. However, there is another hypothesis, which is that it will not be put into service until the tests are completed. Sivkov concluded his statements by saying, we cannot confirm this matter completely, but what we can say is that this system exists. A shark also contacted Rostec and Almazanti, the companies responsible for manufacturing missile defense systems in Russia, but they declined to comment. TASS quoted its source as describing the S-550 system as an unparalleled and completely new mobile strategic missile defense system capable of targeting spacecraft, ballistic missiles, and targets moving at hypersonic speeds at altitudes of tens of thousands of kilometers. Russian Conflict According to a source close to the Ministry of Defense, according to TASS, the new system has passed testing, and the 1st Brigade has already entered service. It will become part of Russia's comprehensive air defense missile system, which includes the Pantsir, low-altitude, S-350, S-400, S-500, long-range, and finally the S-550, space-based. The agency noted at the same time that it was unable to confirm the information from official sources. In contrast, Sputnik and RIA Novosti reported nearly identical statements from an informed source, who confirmed that the S-550 system is not scheduled to be tested in the near future, as prototypes have not yet been built. The source added, a test of the S-500 missile system was conducted in the Arctic region, where a long-range missile was launched at a hypersonic target and successfully hit it. The S-500 is a comprehensive, long-range system capable of intercepting ballistic missiles and other aerial targets, such as aircraft, helicopters, and cruise missiles. It covers an area of up to 600 kilometers in diameter and can simultaneously engage up to 10 ballistic missiles flying at a speed of 7 kilometers per second. The S-550 Mobile Strategic Missile Defense System specializes in destroying ballistic and orbital space targets, primarily the nuclear warheads of intercontinental ballistic missiles. A source in the Russian military-industrial complex previously confirmed to Sputnik that the new Russian S-550 anti-aircraft system is capable of shooting down the U.S. military X-37 spacecraft. The 9-meter-long X-37B, resembling a miniature space shuttle, is produced by Boeing.
The U.S. military says it is designed to test technical issues, although details of its missions remain secret, as are the program's total expenditures and budget. TASS, RIA Novosti, and Sputnik are all owned by the Russian government. TASS operates almost directly under the Kremlin's supervision, while RIA Novosti was an independent agency until 2013, when the Kremlin dissolved it and created Rossiya Segednya, which includes Russia Today, The Channels, RIA Novosti, and Sputnik. SS Systems Categories Russian SS systems are known for their ability to engage a large number of targets with extreme speed and high accuracy. However, according to military experts' expectations, the S-550 system is far superior to its predecessors and is considered the most advanced among its peers. A source close to the Ministry of Defense described the system to TASS as a new mobile system capable of targeting spacecraft, ballistic missiles, and targets moving at hypersonic speeds. Despite the scarcity of information regarding the S-500 system, all indications point to a giant leap forward in the field of defense against aircraft and air-to-air -air missiles. Leaks indicate that the S-500 has an engagement range of up to 600 kilometers, 200 kilometers longer than its predecessors in the series. The new system can also target satellites close to the atmosphere.